Hi everyone, this is Bonnie and today I'm going to talk about different ways that you can package soap and some of the ways that I package soap for my own company and for when I do private label for other companies. So this here is a shrink ban and I know that you guys have seen me use these before but they're not exactly <laughs> super easy to use. So I'm going to show you the way I do it and hopefully that helps for those of you that are going to use these. These fit on the soap like this and make an easy open tear strip, so they're a great presentation. A 3x2 label will fit right on my size bar or, you know, whatever other kind of labeling that works. I usually use a front label and a back label uh, for this type of wrapping. And the reason why they're not exactly easy to use is because when you shrink them, the tear strip wants to cut open and when that happens then you get a wasted <laughs> a wasted one so every once in a while I do bust through the seams but I'm gonna show you the way I do it where I've had the best success so how I do this is I heat the end first and by the end I mean either this end or this end but remember that the zipper side is staying pointed up upwards. So I heat this part so that it catches on the bar and then I turn it around and I heat the other side so that it tightens up on this side of the bar. And then I'm gonna do the zipper top over here gently, very gently, and then over here gently. And then I'm going to turn it over and the back is not as sensitive and I'll be able to get that. But just go very slow and gently when you're working around the zipper and the zipper will be much less likely to bust if you can catch the ends on the end of the bar. So that's the way that it seems to work best with me. I still sometimes mess them up, but that's what works best for me, and I'll show you that real quick. So now I have two wrapped bars of soap. Okay, now another way that you could package your soap in plastic. Compared to this method, it's another plastic method. This method is really good for if you're gonna be at markets or you're gonna have your bars of soap selling in a retail setting because it allows you to smell on the ends because they're open. Another plastic method that you can use is to just use regular shrink, shrink wrap. This comes in a bag or on a roll, and if you use a roll, you have to cut it to size. They also have biodegradable types on a roll. I haven't seen biodegradable in a bag yet, but you know, at the time that you are viewing this video, it might be a year later, there might be a supplier, so um, I, I try to update the information under the videos so that there's up-to-date links and suppliers, and then when someone notifies me that something is you know, not there anymore or whatever else. Uh, I try to update that, so check under the video for supply information for the stuff that you're gonna see here. So this shrink wrap bag comes with a little hole punched in it, and if your type of shrink wrap that you have doesn't, you would want to poke a hole in because that allows the air to escape. So with this kind of shrink wrap bag, you would take your soap, I'm using this nice black soap today because it has great contrast. Uh, this is a charcoal soap. Okay, so you take it and you just use your impulse sealer. Actually, I didn't seal it enough there. There we go. Um, and then you, some of them have a cutter for all this. Sometimes there's a little, they look hairy, like hairy plastic things. Um, but they'll shrink right down. So I find I don't need the cutter. So you just do it to size. And then heat gun. Just 
shrink it all the way down. This makes a great presentable bar. It's a little harder to smell through, but you can still smell the soap a little bit. Just the fact that it's harder to smell. The perforated one, the perforated, um, what's it called? I'm sorry, I, I said it earlier and I, I lost it. <laughs> My brain's not working. Um, the biodegradable shrink wrap, that's what I meant to say. The perforated biodegradable shrink wrap that is sold on a roll is better for that because you can smell through it better. These ones with just one tiny little hole in the regular plastic, you can't smell through them very well, but they do help to store the soap for, you know, a good long while and ensure that your soap is going to be protected. And then another option, because some people aren't really into plastic, is the uh, the soap box. So you have to, this is the box that fits my kind of bars, but of course you can get boxes that have different sizes and shapes to fit your bars. So this is a tea tree soap here that I made that is packaged in the box. I packaged my soaps that are made with organic ingredients in the box and I package the um, the ones that I keep in stock are now paper packaged and then I have some on occasion that I'm packaging in plastic uh, for various reason, reasons it would either be for a promotion or for uh, someone else who's selling them in a boutique or something and I'll, I will let them choose their packaging so if someone has a has a shop or a setup and I'm I'm working with them and they want to purchase soap for me I am more than happy to give them packaging options because I want them to have what they want so I do offer these and also because I do private label so uh, I, I have these different packaging options and I'll show you how I package these now so this paper packaging works I'm gonna grab a label to use as, as an example Actually, rather than pack up one of these soaps with the wrong label instead of wasting that, I'm just going to pack up the actual soap that's going to need to be packaged up anyway. So, I found these online, and these are uh, midget Logan wraps, that's what they call them, and they are 6 inches by 10 and 3 quarter inches. So, these are pre-cut to the size, they're food service wrap like a wax paper type so uh, it's uh, they're really cheap so I wanted to go minimalist on my packaging costs because when you're buying soap for me or when a customer is buying soap for me I don't want them to have to pay all this money just for packaging like why should the packaging be so expensive so I really kind of did a lot of research into what I could do in order to reduce my packaging costs and also to make it a little bit uh, more earth friendly so that's why I kind of am going away from the plastic except for the biodegradable I don't have any today to show you but when I get more in I may show that packaging in another video at some point but it is available and I will try and link you to some how I do these I take one out there's a center crease I take the bar so I line it up right on the center crease like this and before I get started, it helps to just lift up the sides of my labels so I can pull them off quick. And the first couple of times I did this, I really wondered if this was going to be a reasonable method for wrapping soap because it seemed as though it was a little bit hard to do. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually much easier, cheaper, and less wasteful than some of the other methods. Um, like when you're busting through seams and you're throwing away plastic. I just hate that. I hate it. So um, I wrap it over and then I just roll it like this. So then you're left with a bar of soap in a piece of paper that looks like this. And then kind of like a present you like this. And then the side where there's the overlap is the side I put in first and then I fold over the other side so that it looks like a perfectly wrapped bar and then I go over to the other side and I do the same thing so that both sides are folded so you just first this one you can even fold it that way first if you want and then fold it down 
So you're left with what looks like this, and then you grab, well, I grab a label. This is only gonna work if you do a wraparound label, but that's the, in my research, that's what I came to. Uh, I came to, you know, instead of using two stickers per bar, each sticker has a cost. Even though the cost of these stickers is slightly higher, it's still cheaper than two stickers. So I wrap it around so it matches up the side label. I leave this part blank because it's an overlap. And then over on this side of the bar we have the leaf design of the fern leaf. And on the back I have the information, ingredients list, and information. So I know that seemed like it took a really long time and it's because I was explaining it to you. So I'm just going to go through a couple more and you can see how I do it. So I just center it. making sure I'm doing it into the camera. And you can see that it closes up the sides and it also closes up the overlap. And sometimes also what I do is I peel these off first. It really depends on how many I'm doing at a time. If I'm only doing one or two, then I'll just lift the corner. But if I'm doing a, if I'm packaging a bunch of soaps at once, then I'll just kind of peel these off and then line them up on the side of the table so they're really easy to grab. So I just peeled off the last two so they would be a little easier for me to grab. This is also a great wrapping method if you don't have an impulse sealer or a shrink wrap gun or heat gun. And the size of bar that it fits should be a little bit variable too, but it does fit my bars, which are about three and a quarter by two and a half, I think, and one inch thick. So, there we go. And since I use these long labels, I took the color out of my design and went to a more basic black and white design to save on the printing costs and also because I can save money by using the laser ink instead of inkjet, it also doesn't run. So, so that is how I now package the basic everyday soaps that are available at Good Earth Spa. So I have this packaging which is the cheapest packaging that I offer. And then you have, there's two different ways to package the plastic ones. Additionally, you could use the biodegradable film. And then, of course, you can pack it in boxes. Boxes come in all different colors and you can even get custom print ones done. So. There's all different kinds of ways that you can package your soap at home. I hope you learned something from this video <laughs> or at least had fun hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.